Hiya, <laughs> hello, welcome back to another day in the life. Um, oh, I did like a what? What was it? Like a four-day vlog? The other day, I hated it. I'm just, I'm a day in the life vlogger. That's it. I just know it because I just get so much more content when I vlog my days, like day in the lives. So we're back to a day in the life. But I'm about to pop out. Shock, shock, horror. Um, yeah. This um, is a real cool outfit of the day, if I do say so myself. I'm so over like all black outfits. I had this outfit on and then I was going to chuck this jacket on, which don't get me wrong, I love it. It's from Boohoo. But it was too dark. I'm all of a sudden a real colourful girly. So I popped this new jacket on, which I know it sounds really silly, but you know those jackets that you don't want to wear all the time because you don't want to get bored of them? I got this one for my birthday. Um, well, bought it myself, but with birthday money, so... Yeah, got it for my birthday uh, from Mango and I love it so much. Like I want it, they do it in grey, but I want like another colourful one. I don't know what, maybe a blue, if they did it in a blue, but they only do grey. But yeah, and then I still got my new trainers, which I love. We do have a new, a new shoe policy, but I've worn these outside for like not long at all, so they're kind of really still. But yeah, it's a cool fit. And then I've just got my, it's probably my favourite bag to be fair, like my most go to every day. It's like a nylon puffer uh, bag from PLC, but a very long time ago. And yeah, we're ready. I'm going to go to, I need to go to B&M um, for some cleaning bits. Only like, mainly just the washing beads. I want to go to H&M because I'm filming a H&M haul tomorrow. The order's coming today, but it's not too not really in the thin it for a haul so I'm gonna go pick some things up hopefully if it's good um, I've actually got a 25% off although you can only use it on one product I just please just let me have that on my whole shop <laughs> um I got that for my birthday like you, just, you know like little birthday vouchers from H&M so I hopefully go find something good uh where else do I want to go I don't think I'm gonna go to Primark Sainsbury's so to cut a long story short I'm working with HelloFresh over the course of six months, right? It's a real good contract. I love the way it works out. It's like three loads of content over six months, right? So it's like a box every other month, uh, like a brand deal every other month, if that kind of makes sense, over six months. Um, and then the months where I'm not producing brand work for them, they're very, very kindly sending me a free box, which I obviously have to put the order through. I can't remember. I cannot remember for the life of me the date. Um, I honestly could have swore it was today in my head, but it wasn't because we have like HelloFresh in our area anyway. I get a text by like, if I haven't had a text by like 20 past 8, it's not going to be that day. So me and I keep doing little food shops because we keep thinking, oh, it's this week. And it's not. And I know you're probably thinking, just check your emails. I can't. When you work with like HelloFresh, you do it through like um, a form and you have to put uh, the brand's email in. Just, I guess, so they know you're legit using this correct email so yeah don't think it's coming today so I need to grab some dinner um, from Sainsbury's and it's also just meant to be really good at the minute I slowly want to add some more springy bits to the house so um, we can go take a look in Sainsbury's as well um, so yeah let's go guys these are my favorite days ever and also can I just say thank you so much because I am honestly getting the most loveliest comments and dms at the minute about my vlogs like I get so scared you'll find them boring I used to anyway and now I just think it's our thing I just think it is our thing where I just bring you guys on my day and yeah we just always spend the day together like it feels really wholesome like even though I, I'm alone, I don't feel alone. Like when I, I feel like I am bringing you with me. I know that sounds so silly, but I honestly love it so much. Thank you all for being so incredibly kind. Um, but yeah, let's go to the shops. Thought we'd start with H&M first. I'm thinking, and then I'm gonna park outside B&M. So then. Um, 
can go, I think, do I just say H&M, B&M? H&M, B&M, and then home. No, then Sainsbury's, then home. I don't know what to have for dinner tonight. Don't know what to get. I think I might get some lunch, I think Dan's having pizza wraps. Um, I don't really like pizza wraps. Maybe I should just have one, you know, save some money. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, it's also so mild today. It's so nice. Albeit, I think the weather does drop over the weekend again. Um, but for now, it's, it gets me so blooming happy. So, um, yeah. Oh, I was going to get some sourdough toast and have avocado poached egg on toast. Yeah, so I'm going to pick up some sourdough because we have no bread in. So it will actually be nice to have some bread in for toast. Yeah. That's what I'm having, I've decided. But easy. Just dinner to think of now. I've just come to quickly try and these trousers because I don't know which ones I prefer. I think these ones, and these ones are a lot cheaper. Actually, these are $15.99. And these ones are $27.99. So I wish I prefer this pattern, but I prefer that style. We'll try them on and we'll see, but we're not getting <laughs> I'm so glad I tried these on because I hate them. They're so skinny. If they were like this, they'd be perfect. Much better. I absolutely love these. And I've got this. And I just love things that don't match. <laughs> like, completely doesn't match but I'd so wear it together. Anyway, I'm not going to show you anything else because oh, oh, there's something in my eye. Oh no. Because there's a haul coming. Oh, I think it actually might already be live. These are new. I've not seen these before. <laughs> I want to know what they smell like though. Oh, is it these? No, different. Oh, here's a small one. How nice are these mugs? Three pound each, it's, it's a little bit expensive if you're gonna get like four or six, but well, not six, six is a lot, four or two. They're so nice. None of them, like there's no more that are really, I mean, these are cute. But I think that's about it in terms of mugs. Oh my God, look at the size of that. Oh, it's for soup. I could happily drink tea out of that. That one's super cute. We have some like this already, but I love these. And then look at the matching wine glasses. Glasses? <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Glasses, from the black country. How nice are they? <gasps> oh my goodness. These are also so nice. Oh my God, that, this. And oh my God, look at that. I don't know what I'd put in that though. Like I seem to buy a lot of these glass jars and then can never find anything to fill them with. I'm gonna be honest guys, that was not great at all, that um, B&M trip. Is it just me or just, are they not changing their decor? Like I haven't been to B&M. There was a time I was going a lot to be fair. Impressive. Um, but I haven't been in, honestly, I couldn't tell you the last time I went to B&M. Um, and it's just not changed like it's I know I can't really speak I mean I have a neutral house don't I but oh it's just full of neutrals you know I just wanted some nice spring bit albeit like I if it was autumn I'd be like oh yeah fair enough nice homely but it's spring I wanted some nice like flower things I don't know um, I just expected more b and I mean they're like kitchen wear stuff was really nice but I mean we'll go to Sainsbury's and see if that's any better fingers crossed that it is um, oh god how do I get there think 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 I think I know do I know I know right let's uh yeah let's get I'm starving and all I want is some lunch so I'm definitely gonna pick something up. I know Dan wants me to pick up some tuna, so um, I am 
pretty sure we have tuna already, I'm not going to lie. These scents are so good for the oil diffusers. They're only three pounds, although, is it this one we've got? Yes, oh my God, this is the best one. It smells so good. Everywhere has like the ribbed glassware and I'm so obsessed with it. We don't need any more glasses though. We are back, well, I am back. Um, here's a Sainsbury's tool, got some tuna, some broccoli. I thought we could have sausage pasta tomorrow. Kill two birds with one stone. Yeah, so it's cheaper and cheerful. Um, Is that a pack of eight as well? Eight. Probably won't be enough sausage left though, isn't it? They really, oh yeah. Because I have at least three. Oh yeah, kind of, oh yeah. Well, we got a broccoli. <laughs> I only bought a broccoli for it anyway. We can have something with broccoli tomorrow. Damn it, we got 12. Sausages, avocado, tomatoes, sourdough, garlic bread. What are they? The eggs and baked beans. Chef, <laughs> I got toast, avocado, but halloumi, tomatoes and eggs. I haven't had this in the longest time and it looks so good. I've got it on sourdough bread as well because it makes such good toast. Sad times, the very last bit of birthday cake. <laughs> this, honestly, I can't even explain to anyone how much I love this cake. It's just like sponge cake. It's, oh, it's so good. And a big fat mug of tea. I've had, <laughs> that's low you down. Um, I just had some ASOS parcels arrive. I actually, I don't know what vlog it was. I briefly saw the comment um, recently and someone was like, why do you buy so many clothes? And I definitely have recently and I definitely need to stop. Um, I'm basically just trying to build up the perfect spring wardrobe. I was really stupid and basically sold all my spring summer clothes on Vinted. What an idiot. What an idiot. Um, so I'm just like building up my wardrobe. Talking, I mean, I'll probably go sell all my winter stuff now and then it's not good. ASOS had the coolest uh, like promotion on yesterday where it was like for premium members only, which I feel like a lot of people are. That's just when you pay for the free next day delivery. Um, and it was like a sale for that. And it was like up to 50% off. And then when it says that, you're like, everything's just gonna be 10% off. And I did start and everything was like 10% off. But I went through my wish list. I always keep a big chunky ASOS wish list and like clear it out all the time. And these shorts, which I'd actually showed down like the day before. And I was like, oh, I really want these for like spring, summer but I'll never get them because they're so expensive. They were like 52 pounds or something. They had 50% off. <gasps> oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. Oh, they're so, oh my God, they're sick. Oh, I love them, I'm just thinking of like a white t-shirt. Yeah, and what had just come back in stock are the trousers that I've wanted for so long, which I did actually get a load of ASOS gift cards for my birthday. Um, I think it was just one that came back in stock as soon as I ordered it, it went, they went back out. But I saw some a girl on TikTok raving about these. I mean, I wear these kind of track pant trousers all the time because they're so comfy. And I have got, you probably have seen me wear them. Um, like, they're in like black Adidas as well. Um, so I just got these ones. I mean, they're very expensive. I'm glad I had a gift card to use. But I've got those as well, which... I love, so yeah, buzzing about those because they were 50% off. This one unfortunately only had 10% off it, but I absolutely loved it. I really want to get into doing reels, like, I don't know how long you guys have been following me, but I would honestly say at one point I had a very fashion-based YouTube channel, which I'll be honest, I don't think I'll ever bring it back because it was a lot. There was a lot of hauls. Um, but I really want to start getting into it with like reels. My TikTok's very much like day-to-day -day stuff. Like I'll just kind of record what I'm doing. But yeah, I really want to start filming some like fashion content and like styling spring outfits. I don't know what it is just all of a sudden. I'm so into like fashion. I said it to Dan. I've never looked at a trend more than like the spring summer trends of just like colour that's going around. So yeah, um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I appreciate that. But... I just got this cardigan, which is so nice. I just think with like, where are they? Those blue trousers. I know the stripes are in the different directions, but that could be really cute or just some shorts. I just think this, I mean, I love a cardigan as you can tell. 
so yeah, I've got that. Unfortunately, I think it was petite this. Yeah, but I got it in a small rather than an excess, just so. Um, yeah, I just sized it one to make it a little bit more oversized, but I love these. They definitely looked yellow, I swear online they are definitely orange. But I actually think I'd prefer them to be orange, I just think they're so sick. Oh, I love them. So that's that. I've also got my H&M stuff, which is good, because I'm going to film that tomorrow. I think tomorrow I'm going to have like a proper content day, just try and film a load of stuff. Film a YouTube video. I've gotten good on my YouTube uploads, have I not? There was a point I was awful and like sometimes like, there was like 10 days in between uploads. Some weeks it's been three times a week, guys. I try to do minimum two uploads a week now, two to three. Um, and I don't know, I'm just I'm just back in my YouTube era. Like, I just love vlogging, like, it just makes me so happy. Don't love editing, <laughs> but I just love vlogging. Um, but yeah, that is that. I'm gonna go give you a H&M walk, although I can hear Dan's on a call. I mean, it doesn't matter because he's in the office anyway, but I didn't get too much from, uh, did I just say H&M? I meant B&M. Um, I've got some washing in. The wash basket was overflowing. Not even good. Like, it was awful. I think just where, like, we've been away and then it's been my birthday. Like, I've just done no washing. I don't know what it's going to be like when we have kids. Like, I don't know about any of the couples that live by themselves, but me and Dan have so much washing. I will, like, rewear things, but Dan is the type of person that will wear it and then stick it in the wash, albeit it's because he does all the cooking, so he just can always smell food on his clothes, which he hates, but yeah, we have so much washing. Anyway, what a boring conversation. I think I might try these um, shorts on and that. I think I've got hairy legs, though. It's not great. Do you know what? We've all seen hairy legs before, it's fine. I am obsessed, obviously not with this outfit, also the makeup, I've just looked in the mirror, the makeup is not a vibe today, I don't know what has happened, but it's a bit patchy. To be fair, I'm patchy everywhere, I need to scrub off my fake tan tonight, it's Thursday, but yeah. Anyway, look at these shorts. How stunning, the fit is perfect as well, I think I've got a, I don't know, what size I've got? An excess, yeah, I've got them in an excess. These are sick, I just think of like a white t-shirt for summer, pretty cool huh? Should we quickly try the cardigan on as well? My face does not match my neck today. That's why I swear I leave everything till a Friday because I always feel my absolute best on a Friday when I've got fresh fake tan on. Right, remember we're not, oh, this is so cute, we're not wearing this together. <laughs> you know when I said mix and match? Yeah, I didn't mean this. Um, but, oh my god, I love this cardigan. I love it so much, I think. In this bag. Right, go actually watch the haul. I'm not going to show you everything now, but um, we'll go with these ones. This could be a sick outfit. Oh, why have they attached them together? I think I'll like them, right? Two sets. Oh my god, yes. Um, oh my god, yes. Maybe the other striped ones would have gone better. Is it too much blue? Should we try the striped ones on instead? I prefer it this way, you know. Yes! With my bags. I thought, oh. Um, I thought I'd give you a quick haul of everything that I got from, um, from B&M. It was just cleaning products, but I got this, which I couldn't actually open. I managed to smell one in the end, but, it smells so good. I don't like it when they're too like flower scented. I like a clean, fresh smell, and that's exactly what this is like. Um, it's new. Mrs. Well, I think it's new. It doesn't say new on it, but yeah, Mrs. Hinge Vacay Vibes Edition. And then I've got the matching little set. I just went for small just in case I end up not liking it. Um, I also just picked up a normal regular because I'll use this one to go with that. And then I've just got like the fairy, which I couldn't see any of the fairy outdoorables at the minute, but it's kind of just, it's both like a clean cotton kind of smell. So this will go fine with that. I've just got some mouthwash and some toothpaste. Cause I've got some toothpaste at the minute, but it's not like, I think it's good for your teeth, 
but it's not like a really minty one, so I just wanted to get a different one. Um, then just got this for the bathroom. I couldn't be bothered to actually hang around for like bathroom spray. This will do the job. I mean, it's multi-purpose, so it'll be fine. I've got like the bathroom like bleach spray for like the tiles and that, but just to like wipe down surfaces, this will be fine. And then I got this, which funny enough is exactly the same as the one I've got upstairs from Etsy. This was only four pounds, it's a lot cheaper, but I'll go show you guys in a minute. I lit it on Sunday, yeah, on Sunday, and then, um, quite dangerous, like, I know you should actually leave an eye on these, because I've seen on Facebook before, like, they set on fire, like, the Lenore plugins, and it's, it scares me a little bit, but, yeah, wasn't cautious enough, luckily nothing happened, but I'll go and show you upstairs, but it's cracked, you, you'd hardly know unless you looked at it, I only looked because what had happened, but there's like a crack in it, and then all down here is just like the wax melt that's obviously dripped down, so luckily it didn't set on fire, but definitely need a new one, and to be really cautious, what it probably is, is the tea lights I use are eight hour ones, because they obviously just last longer, albeit I never really burn them for eight hours, because that's a long time, um, but they're just like easy to relight and reuse. So yeah, I just need to be a little bit more careful, but that was only four pounds and it's a really nice one. And that was everything. <laughs> so I could say I didn't need much at all, just needed like some, some of these. So yeah, I've got a wash on now and all that needs to go upstairs. I'm just making another cup of tea and I think I'm going to, my iPad is charging now, um, certain plan some stuff out because this is the only reason I'm so organised with uploads at the minute, is because of planning. I am one of those people that if I don't have a plan, nothing will get done. So I think I'm going to sit and do that um, for a little bit upstairs. I can't believe the time, 10 to 4. The light nights are really coming through, aren't they? I honestly thought it was like 3 o'clock. Um, probably shouldn't be talking so loud because Dan is... Oh, look at those flowers. Annie got them for my birthday. I think she did. She get handed them me. Oh, it's dying. Oh, no. Okay. They're beautiful. I'm normally um, a tulip girl, but oh, these are probably one of the most gorgeous bunch of flowers I've ever seen. I always like to um, recycle the cardboard and just carry on using this. I just prefer topping this, well I mean this is actually completely empty, it will win in this wash, but I don't know, I just prefer these ones. Hola! Oh I was going to show you this uh, wax mat, wasn't I? She's all panned out. That was predictive. Look at this, oh it's awful. Where's the crack? See, you wouldn't be able to... You, oh, there we go, there. You wouldn't really know unless... And it obviously dripped through, but I swear... I mean, I didn't, don't get me wrong, I didn't pay like a bomb for this, but... I definitely didn't pay four pounds. Like, the one from B&M is a bargain. And here was tonight's dinner. Sausage, mash and beans. I still don't know if I prefer sausage mash and gravy or sausage mash and beans. Not sure. No, I used to be the beans girl and you used to be like <laughs> thirsty. <laughs> and you used to be the gravy guy. Gravy guy. But now you're the beans guy and I'm. I don't know. Yeah, how much that kind of beans was? I reckon about £1.80. I can't actually remember, but. I remember being shocked at the tail. That's ridiculous. Oh, I love mashed potato. Would you say it's your favourite form of potato? Mm, that's a good question. Mm, it depends because you do make the best roast potatoes. It's always been mashed, like when I was little. Uh, yeah. I loved, especially homemade like this. Yeah. Um, I feel like yours is roast. Yeah, I do love roast potatoes. What? what oh, hang on, jacket. Nah. I loved, apart from the one I had, it kept going. That was awful. I love jacket potatoes though. Yeah, but if they're really bad, if they're bad, they're Yeah, really, they're really awful. Bad. 
It all depends on the potato though. Like remember when we had back potatoes and that mashed that once and the mash was horrible. Mm. Hash browns? No, greasy. Hash browns? No potato. Please, oh. please don't say you didn't know the potato. Oh, probably now, yeah. What did you think they were? Onion? <laughs> I don't know. The potato and a little bit of onion. I haven't had a hash brown in so long. Mm. Weather spoons are the best hash browns. Or McDonald's. No, McDonald's can be greasy. New potatoes? Dead. No, they're not dead. Dead. No, they're nice in summer, we like loads of butter. Oh, what about chips? We don't eat chips, do we? I would go mash, jacket. Jacket before chips? I know I feel like I can't do that because chips are like we never. When do we ever eat chips though? Quite a lot. Well, no, we don't, but... Oh, them chunky chips from Aldi are the best chips ever. Mm. Okay, yeah. Mash, chips, jacket. Roasts, hash brown, new potatoes. Wait, did you just put jacket ahead of roast? I love jacket potatoes. What about potato croquettes, do you remember them? They're like them. Um, I don't like when people try and make things out of potatoes, stop doing it. Fries like, together. Fries together are good, but they're chips. <laughs> mashed, actually mashed potato, shaped into chips. Really? Yeah. No wonder I like them so much. So like, I don't like wedges. Mm, what about wedges? I don't like waffle waffles. No, I don't like croquettes. No. None of that. None of that. Chippy chips. And the chip shop. Mm. That's just chips. Yeah, but orange ones. Oh what? Orange chips. I'd still put the Aldi ones before them. Probably catch the worst, they're at the bottom of the list. No, they're quite nice. Mm -mm. You should have them at home. They just have to be done really crispy and then they're nice. They were always really anemic. Mm. When I used to have them, that's probably why. <clears throat> oh, what is the other one? Hashtag fries, what are they? Waffle fries. Yeah. They're nice. Nah. Awful. Basically, just give me a big bowl of mash. Do you care we have mashed and mashed? Mm, no, because we only have pie and mash or sausage and mash. Although we do normally have one of those meals at least once a week. <clears throat> yeah. I'd say we have, yeah, mash. Oh, and then Sunday, like, roast as well, yeah. I block this, I've got all the things coming like once in 2019. I've blocked the number about 12 times. Is it very? It's embarrassing what I'm going to say. Who is it? Just show me. Let you go. <laughs> no, I'll show my life away. I'll show my life away. Who is it? Oh, okay. Dead. Oh, I've probably told you to order from them. Yeah, but I probably would have been like, oh, you look so fit if you were that. Keep texting me off on your number. I've blocked them every time. It's some, I blocked some old Papa John's. I had to block Papa John's. And White Fox, they kept texting me. Don't call out White Fox, you love White Fox. No, I do love White Fox, but they just kept texting me. I don't think they're missing a potato. No, probably not. Do we just talk about potatoes for nine minutes? Yep. Yeah. We should make a podcast on potatoes. No, I'm gonna let you do that on your own. Not get me. No. If you was to make a podcast, what would you make it on? I would make it on... I'd make it on Dan. Football, obviously. Yes, I would. The other I feel like I'd be so good at that because I could talk about it forever. But I think I'd get too passionate. No, you have to be able to talk forever on a podcast. I'd be fucking useless, man. Just be silent. <laughs> Hi, so today we're talking about spreadsheets. Spreadsheets. I don't know what mine would be on. Football. No, I don't think I could. Liverpool, yeah. Football. Coffee or darts. Coffee or darts. Both. This is not a vibe, but I'm. Oh 
got to, I can't be bothered, I hate Thursdays. I'm jumping in the shower. Um, it's a do everything night, I need to shave, scrub off my tongue, wash my hair, dry my hair. I actually am annoyed at myself, I'm only doing this now. Like I've had all evening and I've just sat on my phone, it's 20 past nine. I wanna try and be done by 10, um, like hair dried, tanned, everything. Cause I really wanna finish my book off. It's been such a good book. Um, even though I have no clue what it's called, what have I been reading? Secrets? Something by Freedom McFadden. It's been a really good book, but I'm at the end and there's like one final push at the end where it's like, I know what's going to happen. It's not like a plot twist. At least I don't think it is. And it's just like finishing it and I have to finish it before I start another book. So I might get that finished tonight and then I can get another one. Um, so yeah, I might read that tonight, especially as I've been on my phone for so long. I can't get this necklace off. It's a really little fiddly one. I don't want it to tarnish or get ruined because it's the one Dan got me for my birthday, which can I just say is so blooming gorgeous. Oh my god, also completely forgot until I was getting ready this morning. I missed two things off my what I got for my birthday. Here's the necklace just here, it's stunning. It's just got a little like A pendant on it. Um my camera's about to run out, but I've got the refi can't see any of it, lip pencil. And the Refi Mascara. I love the mascara, albeit it's not waterproof. But look at the um, application applier thing. How different is that? It's really good. And then I also got the lip liner, which again, I love. It's what I had on today, but in the shade... In Yeah, it's what I had on today in the shade tall. But anyway, I'm getting in the shower, scrubbing off my tan. I don't know what tan I'm going to put on tonight. I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to actually on a mission to see how long this is going to take. It's 25 past nine and I'm going to jump in the shower now. Mm, longer than expected. I don't think I can dry my hair and tan <laughs> by 10, but maybe just after. I ended up using these tanning drops on my face, which <laughs> you can't tell yet because they need to develop. And I actually switched hands because I'm already running a little low on my Molly Mae one. I just don't feel like running out of it just yet. So I went for, um, oh, here it is. This one, which is really cheap. Um, I just got mine from ASOS, but you can get it from loads of different places. Although I do want to see if they do an extra dark. Um, but yeah, that's the time I used. What I'm gonna do is end this vlog in the morning. I mean, unless you're not interested in the tan then you can click off it, um, and if you do, thanks for watching. Um, but, sorry, I've just put my um, retainers in. I've got a little bit of a lisp. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in the tan, I'll show you guys once I've showered it off in this morning. This morning. Oh God. <laughs> my brain's not working. I'll show you when I've showered it off this morning. But um, my hair's pretty dry good morning here is what the tan is looking like i always wash my hands before bed i should wake up with bright orange hands it doesn't matter how little you put on um and it's kind of blended quite nicely today to be fair but yeah i just thought i'd show you in case anyone was curious but i'm gonna end this vlog here thank you all so so much for watching and i shall see you all very soon for another vlog goodbye guys